Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2D and today I've got something um, pretty awesome to show you. So yeah, before we get into that, just a massive thank you to everyone who um, tuned into the live stream I did um, two days ago. It was a really good time. Um, we got through loads and loads of subscriber systems. So um, yeah, make sure to go ahead and, ahead and check that out if you want to um, see all of those subscriber systems. There's some pretty awesome objects in there. I think we had pretty much 20 viewers for about the whole thing, which was pretty awesome, honestly. So yeah, just it was a really good time just hanging out with you all. So yeah, maybe we can do more of those. Um, in the future as well, but yeah, also make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description as well, forget all the latest updates, and also you can talk with me um, pretty regularly since I'm on there very, very often, so yeah, if you want to do that as well, and also that's also how you uh, send in your own systems for me to check out as well, join my Discord, and that sort of unlocks the perk of being able to um, get systems in videos, so yeah, go ahead and uh, do that if you want to, or if you're interested in it, um, really, but yeah, that is all out of the way now, so... We are getting into today's stuff. So we're going to be starting off with this. So here is the current Venus that I use in my um, custom solar system right here. So it's a very, very reflective um, tinted atmosphere, sort of like a two tone one. As you can see, it's more of it's brighter here than it is on the side here. But yeah, we have got a new one. So ooh, um, credit goes to Mad Panic Guy for this, but I, I did do a little work on it as well. So here it is. So I'm just going to pause it and I'm going to place it here. So check this out. This one is like an enhanced cloud version. So as you can see, there is way more clouds visible on this one than that one here. So yeah, check this out. We'll just put them next to each other there. So you can see that there's this new one here. Look how many more, way more clouds are on it. And it's just got like a special cloud texture underneath it to make it look different as well. But yeah, this is what it looks like underneath. Um, so there it is right there. And also you can actually customize the surface on it to make it look more like Venus as well. So you just have to get the colors right. I, I did have a version of it. I'm not sure um, where it is, honestly, but I'm sure I had a version of this actually um, customized. But I don't know where it's gone, but yeah, you can literally get it exactly like the current Venus here. So if I just get the colors right, do a quick bit of uh, messing around, just as an example. Like if you uh, play around with this enough, you can actually get quite close to the Venus orange, as you see here, like pr pretty cool. So, yeah, there we go. There's that. I'm not going to bother doing that, but you can you can literally get the colours identical almost. But, yeah, look at that compared to that with that new sort of cloud texture on the surface. Here. You can, the clouds are way, way, way more visible, and I've also copied and pasted the atmosphere from this one onto this one as well, just to um, make it look really good as well. So it's very reflective, and the cloud texture, I think, looks really awesome. But that's not what this video is entirely for, this is Venus. This Venus is just extra. We are now going to move on to something I've not even seen yet, but I've got the simulation here, and it's called Mega Neptune. So, if we go in here, this is a brand new Neptune custom. So here we go. So yeah, all credit goes to the Mad Planet guy for this one. So it took him 13 hours of work combined, contains around 900 bands. So similar to that big Jupiter um, a couple of months ago. Now that was um, also over a thousand bands. But yeah, this is what he's got. So we just have to delete this object to see what is in there. And he's also got a custom Triton for us. Two variants of each by the looks of it. So let's go ahead and see what um, he has got for us here. I have not actually seen this yet, so you'll be getting my first reaction to this as well. So I guess we'll start off with this one first. So if I just go ahead and delete that, like, ready? Oh, actually, are you ready? So we'll go three, two, one, and voila. Oh, ho, ho, now look at this. Wow. That is looking very fine. Let's just drag it away to get away from that, but check that out so it's like an enhanced version of the regular neptune in the game um i believe so here it is here compared to the regular net stock neptune in the game so check that out look at that so that is looking very fine i really like the way this looks actually look at that wow that is looking really good so let's also see what has got underneath this one then so shrink to reveal Ah, and he's got a enhanced version of it as well. That is awesome. Because, yeah, if you um, don't know, I do like the enhanced versions myself of them um, to get a slightly more blue. Yeah, blue tint. So he's tinted it a bit to make it look um, more blue. And Oh, that's gorgeous. They're both gorgeous. Look at look at both these guys. Oh, this one, though, is, is my favorite, obviously, because I do like the tinted one. But for realism, it's obviously got to be this one um, for the blue on it. But just look at how detailed it is compared to the regular one. We'll get the, uh, we'll zoom in on them here. So we'll just get a comparison with the twins. But look at the difference with um, like how realistic they're looking just with the clouds and everything. I mean, yeah, look at that. It's just a complete difference between those. That is really, really awesome looking. Wow. So yeah, there we go. New and then old or the regular version of the game. So, yeah, there we go. Then we have the uh, tinted blue one. It's looking very, very fine indeed. And then we have these custom Tritons, which he has made as well. So let's go ahead and remove these. So here we go. 
Now, from what I heard, Triton is a very hard moon to make. So this is what he's got so far. So here we go. It's very purple in some areas as well. But honestly, it's progress on the way towards a um, Triton. But yeah, this one actually looks quite good as well um, right here. But yeah, Triton is a very, very weird object to make just because of all the colours it has. If you look at an image of it, it's got a ton of colours on it and it's really hard to get it right. But I think this one is definitely the stronger one out of the two here. But it's a Pluto colourable one because it must have had a lot of uh, messing around with this to get it um, like this. But yeah, I think from certain angles, like this angle here, if you just rotate it, sort of looking at it from this side, I think that looks really good actually. So I reckon if you uh, played around with the colours on this, it was actually colourable as well. So if you like changed around with some of these colours, you could probably make this one pretty well. So maybe I'll have a little play around with that as well. But yeah, just check these out. I mean, where, credit where credit's due. Very well done to Mad Planet Guy for making these. I mean, look at the detail in this Neptune. Look at that. That is very, very good to look at. Really, really like it. Very well done to Mad Planet Guy for doing that because that looks awesome. And then this one as well. Oh, love that. Actually, let's compare it to the other Neptune variants I've got as well. So... Uh, there we go. So my current Neptune is this. This is the one I use at the moment. So that's uh, not that one though. Sorry, it's this one. So that's it compared to that. So as we can see, so the blue is slightly different. Maybe I could probably get it tinted to look like that as well. Because yeah, that is my favourite shade of blue there. But yeah, this one, oh, the, the darker blue, deeper blue on it just looks so, so, so good. So yeah, that's it compared to that and then that. But yeah, compared to the original Neptune though, just look how much better it looks. Oh, such a good improvement there. Wow. Yeah, so really, really nice job to um, Mad Planet Guy for making these. And yeah, guys, let us know what you think in the comments of this new custom Neptune. And we'll put it next to the uh, Triton as well. So here we go. So yeah, there we go. Let's just go ahead and drag the other one out of the way. But yeah, here is the uh, new Neptune and Triton together. So yeah, check these out. The very first ever proper custom Triton, honestly, because usually Tritons are just regular textures just painted in different colors but this one's a custom made um texture um all colorable and stuff so yeah we've got a custom triton with a new custom neptune there look at that it's pretty cool for you actually maybe i'll um turn it into the thumbnail or something but yeah that looks really really good i think so yeah very very nice job to mad planet guy and yeah all credit for the uh, triton the neptune goes to him i take a little bit for the venus since i did a uh, mod the atmosphere on it but yeah mostly it's all his anyway so yeah it's all his work so yeah all credit to him for that and also go ahead and subscribe to him and check him out as well because i believe he's uh, making a lot more videos now and he's revealed his voice and stuff so um yeah pretty cool stuff indeed but yeah again i'll see a massive thanks to him for um actually sending him these so i could um check them out in a video as well guys but yeah that is everything so yeah let us know what you think down below in the comments um let us know any uh, criticism constructive criticism if you've got any feedback would be um, pretty appreciated, I think. So, yeah, just let us know what you think of this new mega custom Neptune. So I think it's looking very, very fine indeed. I mean, especially compared to the original one there. I think this look, this is a very beautiful looking object, honestly. I think it looks really good. And obviously, you put a lot of time into it. So, yeah, let us know what you think of it down below in the comments, guys. But, yeah, that is all. So, yeah, make sure to subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 11,000 subscribers. And also, join my Discord, like I said at the start of the video, if you want to keep up to date with stuff and send in systems to me to check out in videos. And, yeah, if you mod your own mod, Objects. Maybe I could do them in a video like this someday if you join. So, um, yeah, that is everything, though. So, yeah, make sure you all have a great day, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.